Today I'm going to be showing you different ways you can add texture to your clay. The first method is through carving. So this is a scraffito tool, has a nice shovel kind of shaped tip. So if you tilt it down into the clay and drag, it will remove the clay and you can pull it off. It does make nice clean cuts and you can either dig in a little deeper or you can go very lightly and shallow on the surface. You can also use the side, drag it through, or you could do the same thing with a loop tool and create lots of interesting textures that way. The next method is to actually shape or add on clay. So you can kind of dig in and push the clay around. You can pinch it between your fingers. Uh, or you can create little bumps or ridges. All you have to do is place those bits of clay and then smooth them down. So that gets the basic shape in there, and then just use a finger, maybe even a paintbrush, to even out the surface around where you've added on that extra clay. A little bit of water would go a long way right here. Our next texture is all about pressing into the clay. So you can get stamps like this. And all you have to do is use them just like you normally would a stamp. Press them down into the clay. You can also use everyday objects as a stamp. So just by repeating that same kind of texture in different directions, you could get a really interesting surface. I'm going to divide these up. Continuing our pressing in kind of thing, you can have uh, texture rollers. These will create a continuous pattern. You can overlap them. You can also get ones like this. Then there is the texture mat. So these ones you can use in a couple different ways. One way is to still press it in as if it were a stamp. Or you could take a little bit of clay and use a rolling pin on top of it. You can do this with whole slabs and build with it, or you can do these textures and place them on top of things. There is also textured ribs. I think I would actually consider this a part of carving, but these ones just get dragged along the surface. Really great for working on the wheel. And last but not least, we have my favorite texture, which is burnishing. Burnishing is going to work best when you have something that feels like fabric, but you can have objects like this 
as long as they're flexible. This is a bit of cardboard. Here we have some bubble wrap. The inside of a bag of rice. an onion bag and a potato bag. If you're going to burnish to polish, you would use the back of a spoon or a smooth stone and rub around in circles, especially on leather hard clay. And that smooths out the surface, polishes it up. But we wanna add texture, so we place something in between and then we do our burnishing. The onion bag is really fun because you can pull it in different directions and get a different look. Just place that in there, stretch it to what you want, then rub it down into the surface. And peel it up. So that is it. That is a variety of textures that you can apply to your clay to make your clay objects a little bit more interesting.